morning everyone. Today I'm going to do things a little bit different. I've got my photos here and the paper I chose for it <coughs> during the photos at hand. And um, I'm using the serendipity paper that I made. And I guess my washi popped up. And so this is how I think I want the photos laid out. I did trim them. This one I couldn't trim down. These ones I trimmed down somewhat. And now she's got that little pretend cell phone in her hand. So um, my plan is to, I had pulled out some butterflies because, you know, just grabbing, you know, embellishments that I thought would work. So I've got a bunch of butterflies here. Um, I've got some buttons from um, Stamping Up that um, I used these, I think, a week or two ago. And they're just super cute buttons. I love them. And then I have some, this is my little embellishment kit that has flags in it and hearts. Um, just embellishments that I made that sometimes um, I'll just, um, I just kind of throw in here what a few things just so that when I'm scrapping with at my friend's house, then I have them with me. So I've got a few of those. So I can pull up more, but I'll just lay those there. And here's what I'm thinking today is I have my binder here, my theme binder, and this one is baby, kids, boys, and girls. And let me, I'm going to move this for a minute because this is going to take up the whole screen. Right here I have stuff that I never got put away that my daughter gave me to use and because she she just said why don't you do my um, scrapbooks and I'll just give you everything that I got so anyway this is anything related to girls in this section here and most of it is girls because I've got a bunch of girls and so these are babies here baby stuff And got Noah's Ark here. What I have left, I use some for the twins. And Susan Branch. I just love Susan Branch. And look at this one. Uh, something I took out here. It took the whole um, back off, but that's okay. I like being able to flip through here. Okay, so here's the phone that I was thinking. And so I'm thinking that was, so I'm going to pull out this whole sheet because maybe I'll call it girly girl because I have those and then I'd also mark this that um, she's got on a little snowsuit but I thought maybe I could use this it's the same colors I could use this maybe but I thought this for sure would be cute and I do have other words now this one says sweetie and it's got a little pig on it. I don't really, not really feeling that. And I need to stick to pinks, yellows, and greens is what I have in mind. Um, I do have these flowers so I could use those. Maybe I'll grab those too. So I'm just going to grab out sheets that I think I might use something from. Um, I think these are a little darker than what I want to go. And then here's more little girl stuff, but I kind of like that one. Oh, I do have a picture of her in a little sweater. I wonder if I've already done that because that would be super cute with that. Here's more Noah's Ark, baptism. I've done a baptism and I could have used that. There's another girly girl. And let's see, and that's pregnancy, baby again, bigger girls. These kind of things would also work, but I think that other would be good. And then I have the, the overflow. <laughs> it's just stickers that I've gotten since I made the book that I just haven't put in. Okay, so I think this, out of these, I should be able to figure out something. 
and so I'm just gonna kind of lay it out with you and then I will oh I get one to see what's on the back okay that and what's on the back of this more little girly stuff and hopefully the glare isn't too bad and more girly stuff I love these here and I have run it in hats and I should have used it I need to pull this out more often because sometimes I just use what you know what I'm seeing in front of me and I don't think about my books I'm trying to think about my books more often okay so I will lay it out and then I'll pause and glue things down now I don't think I'm in danger of that sticking so let's see here so I'm trying to pull off this girly girl I know I'm not really in the screen oh where's my little I need my little flipper here Okay, I pulled up some of the wax paper, but that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. Here's a little dot for the eye. It's a little glitter dot on foam, and then it's got a gemstone. And here's another one. I just want to make sure I don't have any wax paper stuck to it. And here's a little dimensional that goes on here someplace but I don't know where it goes. Oh, now I do. It's right here. So I'll probably have to put a little more glue on that. So I've got Girly Girl, and I want the phone, and I think I would like it going this way and maybe put it over here someplace. And I was thinking, she's got She's got like a juice smile, so I was thinking I could use like the lipstick, but I think I'm gonna, um, you know, just use that some other time. And so I, I like this. I could just move the picture over a little bit and put girly girl here because that's my kind of the biggest space and then I have the little dress I'm going to pull that off and it's got a great big sticker on the back and I don't think I'm going to put that down without a piece of wax paper okay where is it I know I have some here not there Okay, I know I have some right here next to me. Okay, here it is. Okay. Now, I love this. There's um, a really cute thing back here, too, that I love. The little teapot. And it's like, ah, oh, I'm covering those up. And a little stack of papers there I thought was really cute. But... I'm going to go with this, this direction, so, okay, so I could maybe put the dress here, and the phone could, and if I decide I would need the phone going, <coughs> excuse me, the other way, I could use a different one. She's got the phone here, and she's got the phone here. She doesn't have the phone there, so this could go up here. And lots of times this is a girl that wears a hat and she's still wearing hats. <laughs> so, hope that's not sticking to that anymore. Okay. So I could put the hat here someplace. And, oh, and there's a little purse that goes with it. So this might be cute to maybe have the purse someplace else and the phone with it I 
and we'll see by the time I'm done. Uh, there's a little book. I could use that too. And there's a little frame here and then drawing. But I don't know if I want to add all that, but maybe. I mean, I have it. You know how long it'll take me to remember that I have it again. <laughs> so, here's like, it's like a little colors and drawing. So maybe that could go up here. Because that says vintage there. I don't have to have that showing, but I'm hoping to keep the butterfly. And there's little shoes here, which I didn't even realize. It's like I, I'm stuff blind or something. <laughs> oh, and there's a little bead that fell off. So I want to glue that back on. And let me see if there's anything. Oh, I did look at that side. Okay. Now there's a little bead that fell off the one shoe. So I'm going to let me make sure the glue is coming out a little bit. I always like to test. Okay, that came out. I wish I had my tweezers. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I can see that there's glue on one side of it. So I'm actually going to try to use that side to put down again. Now, is this one coming off? Nope, that one seems okay. Okay, so that shouldn't take long for that to dry. Oh, I was actually thinking I was using super glue, but. Hopefully that does it. And I think that's already super cute. There's this little frame here that says photo. But I would have to print another little photo to put that in there. So I think I'm going to skip that. Because that, that would I, I'd really have to work on to get a little tiny photo. Okay, I'm actually liking this like it is already. And so I've got lots of cluster of pink up here and the little thing and the cluster of pink here and this little book. And this doesn't have a whole lot of pink in it, so this is bringing in more. I would have these dots here. This will end up on the picture unless I move the picture a little. Okay, I'm going to try to be very careful with that until it dries. So maybe, maybe the shoe's down in this cluster just because this, this is her clothing and her art and this is her accessories there. I like that. And let's see, I've got this part here. Now right now I have a diagonal design. I always love a diagonal design. I could maybe put this little heart right underneath this here. I mean, it's not a whole lot just because, you know, there's so much going on already in the background. So I don't know if that's really necessary. In fact, I'm not liking it. Let me try the little darker one I have and see if I like that there. Yeah, I think that's kind of cute. Now it almost looks like there was something here before. Maybe a little heart or something. So I'm liking that. I don't know if I want something down here, but maybe I could. Now I've got four things there. I've actually got four things there. So if I could bring a button into here, it would give me five things. And maybe a little button over here someplace. I want a little one or a big one. Are all the big buttons the same? Maybe a medium sized button. I kind of like that little one there, I think, in this one. And up 
here. I'm going to do this one and just let the hat kind of overlap it a little bit. So I've got one, two, three, four, five things there, and five things down here. Now I do have. I brought these, the um, Simple Vintage Indigo Gardens, because I am not going to be, I've torn this apart, this collection, so if I wanted to bring another flower in somewhere, but I mean, I really, the background's already really decorative, so I don't really even feel, now that I've got this stuff laying on here, I've got all this other stuff pulled out, but I don't think I really need it now. I like the little yellow butterfly there. I think I had a yellow butterfly in here that I thought I could maybe just have another butterfly mixed in since I have this one up here. And I could just kind of glue it down instead of putting it up on dimensional since all this is dimensional. Maybe I would just glue it down like it's part of the background like this is. So I think I will do that because it gives me a little bit more yellow over here. And then I've also pulled out the enamel dots from that collection. So then I will use these. have the dark green ones too. I, I kind of like this other pink better, but this match is really good. So I'll use these here and maybe I'll even bring in a little bit of this green. So um, yeah, so I'm going to glue this down and then I'll be back. If anything changes, um, I'll talk about it when we get back. When I get back. When I get back. <laughs> It'll only be a second. Okay, I have just about everything on here. And um, this little hat, I'm sure it probably had a flower that matched the little little purse here. And, and I couldn't find it. So I punched out a little tiny flower. Um, it says it's .375 inch. And I think I got this at um, Joann's. And so I just punched out a little white flower. Well, this one's more ivory, but it could just be age. But I'm going to use that. And I think I need to put it on with this glue, the Tombow Mono Aqua. So I'm going to put that there. And I think I'll use my tweezers so I have a little more control and um, I've got my enamel dots down now I do have a pink of another color um, I'm thinking I might just stick that right in the middle Let's see if I can let go of it oh it's not quite glued yet so I'm going to put that there. Okay, and I didn't glue down the book. It's called Book of ABCs. And when I went to put it down, I thought, oh, it's kind of, it's not glued together anymore is what I thought. But it actually has ABCs papers in it. It's so cute. And what's it go to? It goes to J. I just thought that was so adorable. So I was going to glue it together, but I'm going to leave it that way if she, um, notices it and if I remember to tell her that it does that then she can always flip it but I'm gonna glue it down I'm gonna use this because I think it's a little stronger on these um, dimensionals the foam is like very dried out so I'm just gonna use that extra glue and so let's see was there anything I think I did everything 
um, that I said I was going to do. Um, I just added that. I want to show you the little book. Um, I did remember to glue this down, but I can see it's not quite down enough. And I actually did it after I stuck this one down. I thought, oh, I forgot to glue underneath there. So I'm going to... I did glue kind of everything else. Before, that was the first thing I put down. So hopefully in there, that will take care of it. And all these, the glue is pretty dried out on the little dimensional foams. So I did have to glue it all down. Um, the, the little phone, because I overlapped the purse, I did have to put dimensionals underneath that. I put a single one underneath here and a double one here. And also, if, you, if you're playing with anything like these little shoes, and they have like, obviously, two sides, I think the thing should be on the outside. And so I did that. And I think that's it, but I love how it turned out. Now, all the embellishments, I had brought out all these Minte things and I didn't use any of them. And <laughs> it's like I brought out all these thinking maybe I would use some of these, but I really like this. I love the little miniature things and I think she'll think it's adorable. She's the one that just turned 18 at just right around Thanksgiving. And I don't remember if she turned it on Thanksgiving this year because once in a while her birthday will fall right on Thanksgiving. Because I was sick, I was home making scrapbook pages <laughs> because I, I couldn't go because I didn't want to make anybody sick. I had that cold for, it was like a month. It was so annoying. And it was just a head cold. Alrighty, so that's it for today. And I will see you tomorrow when I will be joining Ginger with scraps to embellishments and I am really looking forward to that because I've been wanting to you know do something so I use up the scraps faster and so this should do it I'll be joining in the swaps and and um, tomorrow I'll have all that information for you so I will see you then have a great day bye bye close-ups at the end